Hello everyone, greetings from the Staples Center where the Los Angeles Kings just defeated the Nashville Predators 5-1. to one. Uh, It was Nashville's last game of its three-game road trip and uh, very oddly and in some ways fittingly, uh, it, was, uh, it ended the same way it started. Uh, 5-1 loss, Southern California with a uh, player getting a hat trick. It was uh, Jeff Carter tonight doing the honors against the Predators. Uh, obviously a very bad trip for the Predators just in general. Outscored 12 to three, went 0 3 and 0. Uh, first time losing three straight games in regulation since uh, November of 2011. Uh, I think one of the uh, the larger kind of themes uh, when you looked at uh, post game and talking to the coaching staff was just simply the fact that uh, there may be some personnel moves on the horizon. Uh, maybe some players getting called up. Nashville obviously uh, picked up Bobby Butler off waivers today from the New Jersey Devils. So. Uh, I mean, I think the question is, what type of personnel moves can you make at this point? Um, who can you call up? Can anybody really sort of spark this team moving forward? Uh, last year, one of the, I guess a couple of the larger moves that really got Nashville moving in the right direction was when they called up Gabriel Bork and Roman Yossi uh, kind of midway through the season. And uh, obviously that wasn't the cure-all for Nashville last year, but uh, really sort of kind of got them moving the right way. and sort of led to them uh, becoming the fourth seed in the West. It was really the, sort of the first thing that they were able to do, the first kind of move and step. So uh, can that happen again if they call up maybe an Austin Watson or, or a Taylor Beck or, or one of their younger players, uh, younger scoring forwards? Who knows? But uh, it seems like uh, things uh, may change here on the, on the horizon for the Nashville Predators um, as they head back to Nashville for three days uh, sort of off kind of practicing as well before their game Friday against the Edmonton Oilers at Bridgestone Arena. For the Tennessean, I'm Josh Cooper.